So I was able to get a hold of the script um, and realizing it was a period piece. I was like, oh, 19, you know, 1918, 1933. I immediately started to think, um, as I was reading it, like, what, what, what would that feel like for an African American in those times? And uh, World War One, you know, it, it's, you know, I, I was more familiar with World War Two than I was one. You know, it's, it's almost like a forgotten um, war in a way. So that was very appealing as well. And um, you know, and, and I was really excited about being able to get to do some research about that and really investigating. Um, what it means to be a war veteran, you know, and uh, race, you know, racial profiling aside, just an American fighting for your country in 1918, you know, um, and having a global sense of what that would feel like too, as, as far as what I mean by that is how the, uh, the world viewed us Americans and our relationship to the world, you know, joining the world, the war, the uh, World War One a little late. Um, and then at the heart of it, as I started to, you know, read more of it, uh, realizing that it's ultimately it comes down to friendship and companionship and trust. And um, that uh, was probably the, what sealed the deal. It felt like All-Star Weekend, I imagine. Like, I'm just, I'm in an All-Star game. I'm just sitting back and watching these masters go. Chris Rock just riffing. And, and I mean, it, it felt, I, you know, every time he was on set too, I felt protected in a way. I felt like, and I imagine that's what it felt like when you get back with your war buddies, when you get back, when they got all together, you know, this 369th members, the Harlem Hellfighters, it felt like this historical bond of like trauma, fight for equal rights. What Chris Rock represents, period, like in comedy and entertainment, as an actor, as everything, um, it kind of informed the, the relationship between the characters. And I love that I was using that as much as I could, this sort of protection, yet having to, you know, you know, having different, because he's younger in the, in, the, in the movie, having a different uh, point of view and maybe more optimism than, than Chris's character in that sense. So that was great. But yeah, just every day, I mean, seeing the transformation uh, of Christian Bale, obviously it's what he does, you know, it's, it's his calling card. He just disappears. In fact, I don't think I met him, Christian Bale, until we rapped. So, uh, so you know, that's, that's obviously speaks to his skill set. But um, every day I just found motivation when you see these performances, when you see Rami just, he was doing some cra his crazy choices. He's so brilliant. And, and um, obviously Michael Shannon as well. I, I, I really, Mike Myers, like everybody. It was, it, was, it was fantastic to see, to be a part of, to witness. I remember there was a moment of like almost shock of like how real it felt like I would feel like I was totally transported into a time um, 1918 was those hospital scenes like we were, we were you know with with Valerie and and we're like she's like yelling in French and we're speaking in French and and uh, and I have my wound my, my bandages on and my wounds and, and everything that, that that felt extremely real um, and and the French uniforms that they that they made, I thought those were those were, those were great. Those were excellent, and I felt like in a way that, that that we were armed with history on that. Like people aren't gonna, I don't think it's well known that that was a thing that that happened, and uh, and it felt something, felt it gave me a, a, it felt like a cape, like a, a superhero in a way, you know, because of how the French treated you know, the, the, the African-American soldiers, you know, the way they're supposed to be treated. What I remember always about film in Amsterdam was um, the level of professionalism on a, on a set like that, how you have these major stars, everybody's been nominated or won an Academy Award, and yet they were all there to service the film. Uh, with the same energy and, and, and spirit that uh, that uh, that I had, you know, that I love about films, you know, and, and like seeing these great actors do their thing, and yet they trusted, you know, me. They trusted their, you know, other actors all together. So they didn't feel like any um, the ego was removed, in, in my opinion. And uh, what I just loved about it was seeing like all these actors that I grew up loving and, and been watching for years come together and. Um, you know, make something really cool. So I, I thought that was a, a huge highlight for me. The love of uh, of these characters, you know, as quirky, unique, unhinged at times, you know, deep, 
deeply sorrowful and, and, and traumatized people that they're good people and they're trying their best. So uh, I think it's just going to be entertaining. It's going to look beautiful. Take that in, people. <laughs>